Hopefully everything still works okay. I haven't messed with anything, but you know, last time I played this game, the audio just didn't work for some reason. Because the in-game itself changed its audio input. All right, how's, how's my gun situation? 20 bullets there. Bunch of bullets there. Couple bullets there. Okay. You know so? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. I'm sure this isn't gonna end horribly. Oh! <laughs> Game, you okay? Hello? Something just loaded in. Oh, is this actually, wait a minute, is this a... Uh... Abstract Daddy? Why is it so choppy? I don't remember the buttons. It's been too long. It's been 87 years. Shotgun shells. Nice. I did hear the later half of this game has optimization issues, so... Hopefully... Hopefully we get through this. I know some people had to run, like, a performance mod. But I'm hoping it's just the game being like, you just opened the game for the first time in a while. Angela, it's me. No, please. Daddy! James, enough. Come on, man. Oh, ammo, ammo, ammo. Oh my god. Holy shit. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting the uh the mad sprint there. It's part of the animation there, but uh Nope. Okay. Very cool. I kind of want to... I don't know if I want to run around and try to see if I can find more ammo, though, before I go through that very obvious door there, but, uh... Yeah, huh? that's a that's a, that's a way to start the... <laughs> to start it off. Crazy. I guess there's nothing else? Just, uh... The one thing? Alright, fair enough. We love the abstract daddy here, which is a, a dual symbolism here. A symbol of abuse to Angela and a symbol of my writhing wife in pain and agony in her hospital bed. Zesty, hi! How you doing? Welcome in. Hi, hi, hi. Hope you're doing well. And thank you as always for sh shouting out people. I have been raided through like four different channels. So you just like forever in a, in a raid, basically. I keep looking back and I'm in a new channel. Well, maybe we can make it, maybe we can make it five later <laughs> if we're still here. Uh, I'm assuming everything yeah, Thank you. I go through here. Uh, thank you for the follow karma. Hope you're having a good time zone. I don't know when daddy's gonna jump me again. Mr. Abstract. What you 
I'm trying to look for ammo, but... It's almost midnight. Yeah, it's, uh... I'm a night gremlin, so that's what my operating hours is like. <laughs> it's literally midnight to, to, like, 6 in the morning. You want me to break it? Yes, you do. Oh, okay. Are you gonna charge? Oh fuck. Got it. This is a really cool fight. I like this. Abstract Daddy is incredibly memorable, but this is a uh, refreshing. This fight was never really horrifying, but kind of is right now. I like it. I don't like that he's probably going to come to the wall in a second. Wait, why am I... Wait. Huh? Huh? Am I going to get jumped randomly? Yes, I am. Oh, fuck. Okay. Thank you for shouting out Zesty as well. Okay. Oh, we got another great curse. Are you going to keep that curse? Uh, <laughs> living room, are you another collector of the curses? There's a, there's a grouping of my chat that just enjoys... Obtaining curses and just holding on to them. Which, I mean, I'm a cursed spirit, so I mean, I guess it's... Expressing solidarity, I suppose, or something. No, I thought that was gonna... What is, what's happening? Oh, it's transitioning to the other world, okay. Hello. I'm not I'm not listening to you, Daddy. Not doing it. Not doing it. Where are you? I have like really low ammo, so I'm hoping that this is like the last uh leg of this fight. Level 44, I should hit 50 tomorrow. Damn, you you got like four whole levels, five whole levels when I just from the uh me starting stream. <laughs> uh Oh, here. I was like, how do I get over there? Okay. Ooh, this is so cool. I like this. I dig this. Story levels are buffed. Yeah, they're pretty crazy. Yeah, Throne and Liberty, yeah. Where's daddy? Where is he? Oh, I love these flesh walls with orifices. Oh. Love that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, red means scary, chat. Been on the grind myself. That's valid. That's valid. I'm at the... Um, I'm at the point where I just have to deal with people being really bad at dungeons. Oh my god. James. Take a shot. Ooh. Its movements are kind of cute, and I don't know why I think that. It's a little, it's a little pitter-patters. It's a little, little, little pitter-patters. Look at that. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, God. Thank you for the bongos. I'm gonna get grabbed. I didn't get grabbed. 
I'm running low on ammo though. done all right cool it only took every bullet i have except for like five shots in my handgun <laughs> only you would think that's cute i mean the monster not is not and the symbolism behind it is not but the little little pitter patter feet thingy that it does is cute i'm not i just it's okay it's over don't even try Try what? Like you don't know? I see what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. Angela, please. You don't have to lie. Go ahead. Say it. Why you could just force me? <laughs> like he always did. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Angelo. I don't know who you think I am. But I don't want to hurt you. Hey, Armorous. I just want to get my Mary back. Your Mary. Your own little Mary. <laughs> the music. At least she was. For a while. What? Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. No. You probably found someone else. No. to find my mama. That's one thing I always wondered with, like, the people that are here in Silent Hill and stuff like that that are in the sexual fog world and whatnot. They always seem to know a bit about the characters. And it's always so interesting to me. Because, like, there's no reason why Angela should know anything about James. So it's like, I wonder if that's, like, him hearing basically Silent Hill speaking through her. um, Or if it's, like, you know, everyone kind of sees something differently. Oh yeah, here's Abstract Daddy, all dead. Can I smack it? Do you squish if I smack you? You do squish if I smack you. I now have five bullets to my name. And, uh... Everything is in shambles. Can I go in here? What is this room? Squish? Yeah, the big squish. Yeah, so more or less, that creature is a double symbol, so it looks different to Angela than it does to James. But it's meant to be her father who had assaulted her when she was a child, as well as her brother, which that's not added on to this, but that's that's what happened. Um, and, and she, if I remember correctly, I think she killed her father during one of his attempts or something like that. Um... And then for James, the symbolism behind that creature is connected to the fact that his wife was bedridden from her disease, and as she'd be in pain, she'd be writhing on the on the bed. So it's like a kind of, it means something for James, and it means something for 
um, for Angela. As everything in this game does. And everything I see doesn't necessarily mean that the other people here see it. This is an ominous hallway. I didn't open my map, by the way. That was the game that did that. That's normal. Okay, so we reached the next level. That was actually really seamless how we entered the next level, too. Going right from the prison to that hallway to the labyrinth. Very nice. Very nice uh, transition, if you can call it that. Squish door. Yeah, everything in here is squish. It's either super rusty and sharp or it's squish. <laughs> it seems to be the case. But now is the segment where we're going to start to learn more about James. Maria? Maria! I thought Someone say squish? Killed. Yes. Are you hurt? Not at all, silly. But then it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us in the elevator and then. James. What are you talking about? Stop gaslighting me. <laughs> Just before. Don't you remember? James? Honey. Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> Thank you for the sticky note. <laughs> <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Yes, like gatekeep girl boss fine so bars. Everything. Yes. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So you are. The way she's sitting is so iconic. I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. <laughs> Thank you for the Doesn't pets as well. Who I am. I'm gonna put sticky notes on my forehead. I am here for you, James. Please don't throw me into another fight right now. I don't have ammo. I'm trying to remember when a future fight <laughs> is going to happen. Mind. And I'm like, oh god. I'll be waiting. I don't think the fight I'm thinking of happens until the motel, though, I think. I think? I the hotel, rather. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this the second game, the original. I'll come back, I promise. There's a couple things I need to check now. I meant the femboy on the sticky note, that's what I thought, yeah. Let me check something. So if I if I go into my pocket right now and I go to Mary's letter, is it blank now? No, it's still it's still there. It still has words on it for now. So that's an Easter egg that eventually happens after a certain point in the game. The note that you have from Mary will actually become blank. Another detail that's really cool in this game is uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see it that well, but James's fingers. You see how they have like he has like dirt underneath his nails and stuff like that. At the start of the game, his nails were completely clean, so he's starting to get a little bit dirtier. And on top of that, he has stubble on his face. And his eyes are bloodshot. The state of him and his clothing and his like hands and stuff like that changes over the course of the game. Now we got a puzzle here. Ah, 
Ah. Creepy. All right. What am I supposed to get over there, though? I'm not sure which door I'm trying to rotate. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to do any of these right now? Am I supposed to go behind me? Is this open? Oh, okay. I am supposed to do this. Alright, bet. Let me save real quick, though. That scene was really well done. It's actually really nice to see these scenes with good voice acting like obviously like way back when it wasn't really that big of a deal that the voice acting wasn't anything crazy but like even just like <laughs> revisiting old scenes and they're like how could you just sit here and eat pizza while there's monsters everywhere like that level of voice acting to then have the like the compassion and the the pain that is, exists in the in these actors voices is is such a difference is such a difference Okay. We got some Astro painting in here? What the hell? I'm trying to see if I find any ammo. Because I literally only have five bullets. What's up, Brene? James, do you want to jump in the hole? I love jumping in the hole. I'll check the hole in a second. I don't know if he's going to want to go in the hole. I love Maria, and we're friends. Love you too, we're friends. <laughs> yes. But I also... don't quite know where it wants me to go. Is this the right orientation? You want me to walk out here? Oh, that's where I came in. I'm assuming this isn't right, then? Is there another orientation? Or am I just dumb? Watch me be missing, like, a single door in here. I doubt I can open these. Yeah, I can't. Or that. Okay. Let me out. This is so cool, though. Staring down into the abyss. So cool if you could see something down there. But I guess I'm wrong. Actually, wait a minute. No, okay. I guess this isn't the right orientation. Stuck? Okay. I get stuck on things a lot in this game. I don't know how that manages to do that. Crazy. Yeah, let's try another orientation then. Okay. This goes up now. Me ammo? No. So cool though. Here we go. Oh, I hate this. Hello? Okay. Green door it is. Oh, we're we gonna have those like thumper things again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, we are. It's 
say for him. Alright, so this is a whole seg segment on its own, okay. Yeah, this game is like... It's so much better than I thought it was going to be. I was so scared when they said they were remaking Silent Hill 2. That's going to be a problem. Um, but so far it's been amazing. Right. Go this way first, I guess. Need a key over there. Rifle rounds. Just in case. I will say, though, that the lighting to Twitch is atrocious in the game. I can barely see. Oh, I'm sure that's the case. Does chat want me to turn up the brightness on the... On the uh... Oh, fuck. Let me not be standing here, though. Regardless if I do that or not. I need to get off this ground. I need to get off this uh, metal grating. I could shoot them down, but I don't have much ammo to... Do that. There's two of them. Okay, okay, okay. Bevier, hello, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. How do I... Okay, alright. Safe from that, but I have this thing here. Sorry. Chat, do you want me to turn up the brightness? By the way, like a little bit on your guys' end. I don't know how bad it is. And also, welcome in Raiders. Hello, hello. I'm Hifumi. I stream the game right now. We're gaming some uh, Silent Hill 2. How you doing? You're in the bathhouse. I haven't actually played the uh, the remake of it, the restored edition. I don't know if it changed anything or not. But the original one was good. How you doing? Was stream good? I hope so. Alright, so I... Why do I still have Angela's knife? I have, like, nothing. I have, like, no ammo or anything. It's different from what I've heard. I might have to check it out then. Is there any ammo in these? Oh, I didn't tell you to do that. James is making decisions on his own. Oh, you little bitch. Legs! Okay. It was scary. I'm such a pansy when it comes to horror. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. It is a pretty creepy game, too. I think uh, Chilla's games... It's Chilla's Arts, right? That one? They're pretty scary games. I think because they're pretty real, usually. they A lot of them have very real things, like stalkers and stuff like that. It's a lot scarier than running around like Silent Hill. Um, but Silent Hill's going good. It's, it's amazing. Oh, shit. Where? Eight... The freaking legs in this game, man. Jeez. It's one of the ammo. I need a cuddle buddy for me to play most horror games. See, that sounds like a nice time, though. Horror games and cuddles? I've never actually done that before. I've only ever suffered on my own, which I say suffer as if I get scared of games, but, you know... <laughs> to me, horror games are kind of cozy. I like them as an artistic medium. I played Night Security before. The one was terrifying, too. That one is pretty good. I like, um... Uh... Parasocial and, um... Crap, what was the other one called? Um... I'm forgetting the name of the other one. Hated how it made me do things I didn't want to. Oh, yeah. That's like Horror Game 101 right there. Hello? Speaking of not wanting to do something, I don't want to check this out. Ugh. Gross. Case in point. Oh, you played like multiple of them tonight. Then Parasocial and the Closing Shift. That's the one. The Closing Shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Closing Shift. I mean, I hate it. I love it. But <laughs> a little bit of both. Love-hate relationship. Oh, lighter gas? Okay. Oh, is that for the hanging thing? Okay.
Ah, yes, a painted on door. Um. You liked Jack's reaction to it? That's fair, that's fair. Jack is awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go into death here. Medicine. Ugh, crawling over the bugs and onto the grates. Ah, shit. Closing shift was by far the most disturbing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Okay. I think I do need that there, but... Wait, was this door here before? This place is fucking with my head. Okay. That's where I came in, right? And there's a door here. I hate these things because they're beneath you and I can barely see them. Oh, you started with the worst one, gotcha. Fair enough. Oh, that's so mean. That's so mean, that's so mean, that's so mean. Uh. Shit, 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 shit. There's two of them. Wait. I missed something that just looped me around. Fucking labyrinth. Ah, here we go. You love the dark screen? Here, let me- okay, 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 okay. Let me turn up the brightness for you guys. Scared of the dark, I got you, I got you. Let me turn up a filter. Uh, wrong thing. Drink! Thank you. Thank you for the drink. It's brighter now. Hopefully, for you guys. I look so whitewashed, though. So whitewashed. So bad. Try, uh... Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you want to get flashbanged? <laughs> That's crazy. Let me try it. Let me try it by, like, micro increments here. Okay. Maybe that's, maybe that'll be better for you guys. <laughs> You're blind. Um, well, you know, install better eyes. And thank you for the hydrate as well. Let me hydrate right now. Laughs in Doom 3. Your throat hurts from screaming. <laughs> yes, definitely get some, get some water and relax a little bit. I appreciate the raid once again. It still looks dark, just letting you know, by the way. I don't know how much I can help you with that. Without making this game hella whitewashed. That's where I came in, I think. Oh, I blame... I blame Crystal for that one. That was Crystal's fault I got hit there. I looked at her message to see if she could see things better. Is it brighter for you? Is this better? Do you like this filter? Yes, it's your fault, Crystal. Okay. Does it look okay? Does it look brighter? Can you see can you see that there's a hole in the wall? <laughs> 
Okay, okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof, getting called out like that. <laughs> I hate this. That is some crazy ass sex. They split the entire bed. That's insane. Hello? Legs? Shortcut? I dig that. Oh, good, good. I love sticking my hand into random holes, I find. This one happens to be oozing black slime. Took breaking the bed to a new level, truly. Lighter wick and lighter fu uh, fluid, very nice. Alright, so we should be good to progress now, I guess. No. Ow. You're just camping there. That's one less one of them. Don't lick me. Don't lick me. Ho ho ho. You thought you'd hit me, but I'm faster than that. It'll be quicker than that. Oh, you weren't here before. Oh wait, this isn't the same hallway. It just looks the same. Wait, what's that door back there? Legs? Oh, nurse! Okay. Okay. Uh, iron key. Okay. <laughs> Meds? Fucking desk back here? Okay. Oh god, where am I? Oh god. Hi, Kyoko. How you doing? Oh, you almost lick a tongue me. Another one right there, too. I don't even know where I am, I'm just running. Wait. I was here before. Okay. Okay. This loops me back, right? Right. Yes. You're gonna stick your hand in that, James. All right, have fun with that. An acid? Thank you for the lurk. Hope you rest well. What that tongue do? It does a lot. And a lot of it hurts me. Do it. Do I have to combine these? Oh, I need a third item? Uh... Where's the third item? Because it doesn't let me do that. Why can't I just like shoot it down? This reminds me of flesh lips. Um.
I'm trying to think, where have I not gone? I went all down there. Doesn't... Did I miss something back there? No. Is there something else in the acid room? You took the item? Fair enough. Oh! Very cool. Missing giant holes in the wall, that's fine. Ooh, not the one inch PP. That's rough. Ah, the lighter. Okay. See, I thought I would pour the lighter fluid and then just spark it, but you know. Go off, James, go off. Light it up, James. Sorry if I'm not as talkative today, chat. My throat is, like, still in very much pain. So I'm, like, trying to limit as much as I'm talking, but I'm still talking more than I probably should. <laughs> you gonna jump in the hole, James? You love jumping in holes. Yes, you are. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you, James? Also, I can't move. There we go. Down, down, down by the river. He has so much faith, assuming that that's going to work. And he's not just going to break himself. Okay. Uh, I'll save question mark. Do I go talk to Maria? Or do I play with the cube? Oh, my game chugged? I'm guessing it's talk to Maria. <laughs> Food check? I ate like three hours ago. Wait a minute. That's a lie. Like five hours ago. Oh, she's humming her theme song. That's cool. Let me get back up here and then I'll do the stretch. Okay. Ah. I need like a, I need like a massage chair and that's just gonna like stretch out my back because I'm just sitting here streaming. <laughs> it just like brutalizes my spine. <laughs> Absolutely decimates me. I didn't mean to swing. Oh, this changed, I think. Wait. Is that just gonna take me back? Yeah, I think this is the same one as last time. This is the one I did before that didn't work. I think so. I don't think this goes anywhere. Yeah, this is the one I did. Yeah. Wait, what's this? A hole. OK. 
Okay. That was easy. Okay. Oop, I didn't mean to hit my mouse, but apparently my sensitivity is crazy. No, this is the configuration from before, right? Right? Wait. This is different. Okay. I'm mildly confused. Wait, how do I get out of here? Did I use a symbol before? I don't think so. No. I didn't. Three inch PP. Interesting, that was the same hallway from before, but now the red door is open. What is running towards me? The fuck was that? Hated whatever that was. Hi, Jax. Ah. It's legs. That's a pyramid head sword. Twelve inch, very nice. <laughs> Saw that coming, but I didn't think you were coming from there. I thought it was going to come from there. I didn't even know there was a door there. Crazy. Can I not crawl? James? Oh, there's something blocking it. Huh? Ah, I see. <laughs> Ew.
Oh, this is horrible. Wait, that's the way up, but like... Surely I'm missing something down here, right? Yeah, there's a key. Dude, I am so turned around. Okay, I, I guess let's see what's up here. Or is this gonna bring me back to the beginning? It is the beginning. Did I ever mention I hate labyrinths? Like, if you ever asked me, like, oh, it's Halloween, let's go to a fucking labyrinth, I'd be like, no. Never. Oh, God. James? Wait, what? Is this a different way down? It is. I think. Fucking legs! There's another one behind me, isn't there? God. What was that? Uh, okay, James. Wendy Williams. Okay. Uh, okay. Where am I? And why'd I lose frames there? Swung at a bug on the fucking wall. I lost like 20 frames there. <laughs> Wait, wasn't I here before? Yes. And I'm lost now. And I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back up. James, you got this shit. Spin the fucking wheel, James. You got this. And I'm lost now. And I'm so sorry.
And I'm sorry. Thank you. This is like the hardest thing to control in this entire game. Is this fucking mechanic of pushing this thing around. Why can't I move? There we go. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, wait, 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 Jim, Jim. No, 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 wait, 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 There's probably a lot of dead bodies on here. Where are you? Holy fuck. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> um. You don't know how to do ladders, right, buddy? Right? Oh, you want me to go back down there with him? You're crazy. Okay. I mean, if you insist, the most intelligent thing right now to do is to go down here with a red pyramid thing, you know? Where are you? I'm not actually fighting you though, right? Is he gonna come in here? You know what, actually, let's... He is. He is? He is. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I'm sure it's so cool. And he's so hot, but I'm not- I'm not- I'm not dying right now. I got an achievement, by the way, to find his room. Okay. You're on the way to Wendy's. I want some Wendy's. Let me up with some uh, some chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce, please. I am the hype. Jax, thank you for the three months. We out here with the shark boy shape. Let's get them rotated. Here yeah, we gotta rotate the shark. It was such a good pyramid head jump scare too. Kind of forgot he existed for a moment. I hear him. And I hate that. Oh. We're here. And he's here too. 
But where? Daddy's here and he's gonna choke me. Hit me with the giant fucking sword. Oh my god, there's a why are you here? This is a save this is a save point. That's so rude. That you can jump me at a safe place. Uh what did I get again? Oh, wire cutters to cut the fence that's downstairs, right? Yeah. He just wants to ask me about my car's extended warranty. He wants to ask me about my car's extended warranty after he thrust a freaking 22 fucking foot long sword at my ass. Can I go through here? Oh, I can. Wait. Should I though? Yes? No. No. Yes? No. Where was the wire fence again? Downstairs? How do I get there? Four? I can access four from... Behind me. Huh? Vault this and go down? Which needs to make it so subs don't auto renew. I've been burned one too many times. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think it should be off by default and then you can send to it. Like if you want to have recurring subs so you don't have to think about it, you can, but it should not be default, yeah. Wait. I can't even get over there, right? From here, anyways. Oh, it's something over there. I don't think I can get there from here. Because the wall collapsed. Oh, so it wants me to go back down where Pyramid Head is, and then... Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, yo. Oh, I can't climb back over, so I have to go this way now. Okay. He could, by the way, he could totally, totally go up that way, but you know. Got this. Something got back up. Koto banana, hello. This way will work, maybe. Now what? I looped back here. Um. Okay, go through there. Through this save no. Hmm.
I need to come down five or six. And to get to five or six, I need to go through the path in front of me and through the room that has the connecting door. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see my stat at the end of the game for uh, how many times you open the damn map. Maybe like 5,000 times. Is that the room? No, I passed the room. Yeah, we might as well save while I'm here. I love saving 362 times. Straight and down. Okay. I love what they did with the paper map. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, there's also the detail that um, the the longer the game goes on, the more his like fingernails get dirty, the more his eyes become bloodshot, and the more stubble grows on his face. And if you're injured or whatever, the menu here will also change color. It'll go like yellow, orange, red, depending on your health. Oh, we gotta play with daddy again. Wait, that's not daddy. Oh my god, what? Why are there so many things in this hallway now? Ow! That's not even cool. I don't think this is the right way either. No, it totally is. That's why they're throwing things at me. Fuck. Fuck. Is this it? It is it? Okay. James? He's just standing here? Okay. Anyway, the fuck? Are we jumping more into the abyss? Give me one sec. Okay, never mind. We're going to the abyss. Ready, chat? Three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> you had to think about it again. please. Thank you. That's still there. Cool. Uh, does Maria want to talk now? Should react to that. Never mind. I have a friend who is still trying hard to keep hating this remake. I I will never understand people like that. That'll deliberately just be like, yeah, I'm gonna just hate on something because I want to hate on something because I'm upset that it's successful. Like I don't know. Very small PP energy. Very nice. That's it? Okay. I 
have gone this way, right? I think. This is the same one I just did. Uh, gotta have the dissenting opinion for uh, to sound smart. I don't know. I guess so, yeah. You gotta be different. A lot of people do it to be different, right? They're like, okay, the, the majority of people say that they like something or hate something, so I'm gonna say that I like or hate something as the opposite of it. I don't know. It's weird. Everything I've seen for the remake looks great. It's amazing, yeah. From what my understanding is, it's mostly because of the company who made it. What about it? <laughs> that that that's not even a reason to hate the game I'll, I'll never understand that either like honestly like even like a lot of games have come out recently and people are like oh the company's kind of sucks and i'm like i don't fucking care it's a good game <laughs> i don't care man that doesn't make it a bad game that just means that you don't agree with an action of the company or the creator behind something There's a difference between agreeing with somebody's practices and uh, something being objectively good or not. Where did I, I'm so confused with the configuration I'm supposed to do for this. Oh! Is that... something? I'm stuck? Oh, this says what I'm supposed to connect them to. But I also don't remember what I've connected to and what I haven't connected to. Uh, fuck. I don't think I've gone to the back of the room yet, though, so I need a configuration that lets me go back there. Right, exactly, Dell. Life's too short to be uppity about that. Let's see. Also, I don't believe Bloober Team has done anything wrong either, so that's another thing too, is I don't understand with that. Wait a minute. How the fuck do I connect that? Uh... I have never heard of that one before. And somehow, somehow I feel like it's probably not actually that. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, they read into things and they already have a mission to dislike something and then they create a situation that makes it worse so that they can validate their dislike for something. And even in that, even in that instance, to be like, oh, okay, I, um, I don't stand for Bloober Team and therefore I don't think this is a good game, it's still not a good correlation. Anyone who uses an argument, like a proximity argument like that, is immediately just wrong. I want an objective, like, reality of why something is good or bad in in correlation with the actual product and not something in, like, external like that. It's like, I don't know. It's such a weak argument. It's about as strong of a, of a decision-making process as a... Just being like, you know, I had an ex who was blonde and, you know, now I just hate blonde people. I don't know what's happening and I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I'm talking and then I'm now I think if I had a chase sequence, like what's happening? No, I think I'm fine. Why right, is everything dead? Ooh, drink though. Okay. I was skeptical when I heard about this remake, but it's looking good. Oh absolutely. I thought this game was gonna be the absolute worst thing on the planet. And as someone who like Silent Hill is one of my favorite franchises ever, period. Uh the thought of it being made well let alone being made well the second time, is, like, insane to me. And so I, I, I basically, like, eye-rolled. And then when they showed the, um, they showed a combat demo um, a couple months ago that did not look good. All the enemies didn't have impacts to them. 
it looked very clunky. The people playing it didn't play it that well. And I was like, this is going to be a really bad game. Um, but they cleaned it up, I guess, between then and now. Um, you can get lost in this pants grab. <gasps> no, not the pants grab. <laughs> can I get an exclamation for pants grab? I'm just kidding. That's not an actual thing. <laughs> That's wild. How you doing, Farloon? Is that it? Is that all I want from here? And then to go through the store, I guess? Aww, why you gotta do me like this? Oh fuck. Okay, there's more of you than I thought there would be. I can't even see what's happening. Okay, okay, this is... This is an event that's happening. Oh, did I not even have to kill them? Did I have just ran around? Fair enough. God, this game's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this so much. The combat demo did not do the game justice at all. It looked horrible. It looked like every time you hit somebody, that they just like didn't they didn't they didn't have any actually like reaction to it and, and like there was no punch to anything. The sound effects were so weak, but they fixed it up. I, I don't know why they decided to show something that was so unfinished like that. I bet I'll use it all the time. All right, noted, noted, noted. I pants grab <laughs> exclamation point pants grab would be amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what the text would say. What would, what, would the, what would the dialogue be for Pants Grab? Not again. Oh, fucking legs. Oh my god, more legs. I'm not even worried about the nurse. I'm worried about the legs. Okay. The fuck is this segment? Thanks for drugs, though. Uh. Do I go through here? Remember, hippo milk is pink until we meet again? Huh? What is even happening right now? We're talking about hippo milk and... I don't know if we're talking about the... The mammary kind or the testicular kind. I don't know. Either way, I hate it. I don't know if I actually have to kill anything in here. I feel like I just have to exist. Ooh. Oh, you can melee them? I didn't think you could. He's hitting me with his phallic part. Out of here. Where'd the legs go? Oh, found it. Okay, I do have to kill them. Gotcha. James, let's get moving. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this place is going to fall apart in two seconds. Save point. That's ominous. Clyre, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. If I missed any messages there while I was smacking legs, um, I apologize. I was being mind blown by the talk of exclamation point pants grab and uh, uh, pink hippo milk. And, uh, ha, 
I'm, I'm feeling like I can't walk through that. Yeah. Hmm. Do I have to go past you? Hmm. Doesn't matter if I do or do not. You actually hurt. I've never been hit by him before. I, I can't. I, I can't, like... <laughs> oh, I couldn't get past him. Oh, my God. Goodbye. No way. Do I actually have to fight you? Okay. All right, well... Other James, please stop. You're so much hotter than me. Oh boy! Ow. This is, this is the most claustrophobic fight. Oh, he's gonna grab me. Ooh, that's... That was a cool tag. I like that. I like that. Please stop doing it, though. Oh. My god, he hurts so bad. I mean, it makes sense. Homie's like... Got a giant meat cleaver. Are you okay? I, I wasn't sure what was happening there. I thought he was just jerking in the corner. Kind of running low in ammo here. And I'm hoping I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm getting stuck. Uh, yeah, remember you looping me? It's payback time, right? Oh, I am impressed that dodged me. I mean, missed me. Not that it dodged me. Uh, this is not even cool. Ooh, that's hot. That's less hot. <laughs> Not him trying to grab me and me being like, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that was like the second time I think I've ever died in this game. Holy shit. Yeah, you die. I you don't fucking say. I was not prepared for that. I don't have the ammo for that. What the fuck? Oh, okay, James. All right, that's a wall. All right, I feel like there's there has to be something else I'm doing there, right? Like, you can't possibly want me to fight him with no ammo. Hi, zombie kitten. Hello. Can I, like, not be here? You want me to walk towards him. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Is there like something else I could do? Nope. I guess this is this is my life. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Pardon. <laughs> you just bitch slap me? I mean, I kind of like it, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I should be shooting him in the back or just keep going for his legs. Ow. Ow. Stop shoving me. Okay.
Wait. I can go. Okay. I don't know how long I could leave, but uh, apparently I can. I wonder if that was always a chase sequence. The moment he comes out, I wonder if it's just immediately a chase sequence. That was a waste of ammo then, if that's the case. Three. Zay? Got you. I will try to remember that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't feel like a win after <laughs> getting curb stomped by the man. That was my second death, though. I remember, I think I died once before, but I don't remember from what. It was probably legs. <laughs> Can't wait to upload these to YouTube, and then people will be in the comments like... So dumb, why didn't you know to just run? Okay. Okay, you won't let me shoot her. <laughs> I was just curious. The devil in my head was like, can I? Would I? Why does the game do that? I hate when it does that. Oh, hell yeah. Can I save while I'm carrying this? Okay. I guess I can't. Okay. I'm gonna hit them with my, uh... My Getsuga Tenjo. Oh my god, it's so hard to move. Okay, this is kinda cool. The controls are annoying, but I also assume that carrying a uh, giant ass cleaver like this would also be annoying. Can I swing it? No, I can't. James, just fucking drop it, please. Okay, thank you. I was waiting for her to say something to gaslight him. Yeah, right? Straight is not an option when you have the sword. It shall forever be known. The gay sword. Ah, yes. It knew the player base. Horror and, like, LGBT people, like, go, go together. I don't know why. Like, I feel like, like, when I used to play a lot of DVD and stuff like that, I felt like everyone I ran into was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm gay. I'm like, or, or like, I mean, even, like, a lot of the, um, the popular streamers are, like, drag queens and stuff like that. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, do, do we have, like, some kind of, like, <laughs> do we have some need for some kind of trauma or something like that in, like, games we play? <laughs> Is that where we're at? And what is this? 
Walter Sullivan. Ooh, that's a name drop. Ooh. Uh, am I supposed to? Miriam, a traitor. I don't know if I saved here or not. I think I did, yeah. I love that it's a cemetery. This is hardly a cemetery. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, James. What is with you in jumping in holes, James? <laughs> Homie sees a hole and he's like, yeah, it would be pretty fun to jump in it. We feed on it, right? Like I feel like I feel like it's like some deep-seated trauma. <laughs> it's like it's like we're like, ah oh, yeah, this is like this fills some hole or <laughs> makes something uh come full circle. <laughs> Hmm. Long hallway. There's a couple things that this could mean. Ah, it's this fight. Couldn't leave well enough alone, huh? You just had to follow me all the way out here. How many times do I have to kill you? Eddie. Whoa, Eddie. It's, it's me. Oh. Uh. Hi, Eddie. Hi, James. Eddie. What are you doing? Well, what's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. You gonna cry, fat ass? You gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin, why don't you just kill yourself? Oh. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, man. Maybe he was right. Maybe I am. I'm nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb. Every ugly, hole's a goal pretty. is how the it's saying goes, same, right? I mean. Dead. And a corpse can't laugh. Eddie. What's that? You want to talk down to me some more? Tell me to relax? You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want to. Shut up! You think I'm stupid. You think I don't see it. But you've been laughing at me all along. Ever since we first met. But you ain't laughing now, are you? It was such a wimpy punch. That with that that punch. I need help, Eddie. I don't know what's worse, how wimpy that punch was or don't get all holy on how me, he James. dropped from it. This town called you <laughs> too. Yeah. You and me are the same. We're not like other people, don't you know that? Well, you're about to find out. Oh, here we go, and I have no ammo for this. Ammo? Ammo? Basically dead me, and dead me. Ooh. Uh, okay, fuck me, I guess. Into the meat locker. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated? Picked on, spit on. Yes, actually, yeah, Just I do. Of the way you look? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I what are you trying to get out of here? But you know what? It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> and now it's your turn, James. Yeah? I'm reloading, and he's right there. See you. Yeah, I see you too, buddy. He just took a rifle shot to the chest. He has one of them Hollywood revolvers. On, he does, James, yeah. Don't be shy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
That hurt. Okay, all right. Okay, buddy. Okay. Oh, he's right there. I mean, I'd imagine a gun would hurt, yeah, but uh, that, that hurts a lot. Dude. Oh, he's taking far shots. That's not even fair. I'm going to chase you with the shoddy. You're weirdly durable. You're oddly durable, Eddie. This is horrible, and I love it. You know I'll find you. I don't know if his audio is actually like proximity based, like, uh, directional. Like, oh fuck! Oh, you hit hard. Can you? Because I can't fucking see you. Holy, that goes on for so long. He like winds up. Oh me. You know I won't find you. Holy shit. Where did you go? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay. This man takes bullets, man. Yeah, he is, he's, he's impressively durable. This is kind of cool and also mildly annoying at the same time. Okay. Oh, I'm out of ammo. This is it, James. Okay, all right, homie, I can't even see you. What eyes do you have? What beautiful eyes you have there, Eddie. Let me Okay. Jeez, man. Fuck you, Eddie. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he got that big iron, big iron. He got the big iron on his hip. He's got his carrots, apparently. He's got carrots and spinach, I guess. I don't know. He hit me pretty hard, too. You do have a flashlight strapped to your chest. See, that would be cool if I turned off the flashlight and he didn't see me as well, but still. Where's his body? Damn. Can I take his gun? Anyway, I got the Kill Eddie achievement. This was locked before. How did it, How is it magically not locked now? Okay. Oh. 
Very nice. Oh, we get to do the boat part now. Okay, okay, okay. We get to go across the water now. Fair enough. <laughs> I was clicking right click to while I was just like idly there and then I'm just going. It's like I'm out of that save. <laughs> Damn no hand cannon, yeah. There's not many weapons in uh this game. I think the only other weapon is a chainsaw, I think. But you have to beat the game for that. Because the difference between this series and like Resident Evil is like Resident Evil is more arcadey. It's more about having that action and explosions and the cinematic stuff, you know, cinematic fights. And this one's more, you know, narrative and fear and claustrophobia. I love that I could still turn on and off my uh, my light on my chest. How are you doing, Chad, as I row across the water here? Hope everyone's having a good time zone. And it's fine with the fact that I'm not like being hyper-talkative like I usually am. Because uh, my throat is not okay, and I, I'm afraid if I talk way too much. That'll be like, all right, it's been like two hours. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> You're having a great time. I'm glad. I definitely want to get back into streaming some hunts, but I want to make sure we finish this before we uh, get too far into that. Because the event's going and stuff, which unfortunately I'm missing the... Uh, uh, there's like a, a mode that is only going to be available on weekends, and I don't stream on weekends, so like I don't know if I ever like... Actually, I have like... Stream time with it, but we'll see. Having a ball, even if I get blamed for things. I mean, you did almost get me killed. Yeah, that is true. Having a wonderful time. It's almost 2 a.m. for me, but I'm chilling. Stream's been fun. And I'm glad. I'm glad. You're fine, Fumi. Just relax your throat. Still love to watch you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hunt, you say? Yes. That's my favorite. My favorite competitive game is Hunt. Mm -mm. Yeah, my throat is just like not healing really well at the moment. I've been having like a mixture of like allergies and like my my condition as also affects my throat. And then on top of that, I also have freaking like reflux issues. So like between the three things combined, my throat and my nasal passages have just been like demolished this past like two weeks. And I th it's better than it was at the start of the two weeks. Um. So it's definitely like I'm recovering from it, but um, I'm definitely still not like, okay. Anything to gain here? Funny that I should say that. Yeah, I haven't gotten to do anything in the event yet. I want to do Bounty Clash, but I think it... I think it's here until the end of the weekend, and then it goes away, and then it'll be here every subsequent weekend. This place hasn't changed at all. Just... Reach the Lakeview Hotel. Ammo. I definitely need that after everything that's just happened. I have nothing in either of my long guns, so, you know. Fuck me. There's nothing here either. Uh, the section of the garden is closed for maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. If you like Fufu, I have chi uh, Chimkin that I can sacrifice to aid in your healing. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I guess we just go in. Uh, special places spark fires that warm our hearts forever. 
Welcome back, James. So pretty. Housekeeping. The funniest part is, is that jump yeah, scare. You did. The noise didn't scare me. James, it, huh? me losing what control of James right? scared me. <laughs> I was like, what's happening and why can't I control James? <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Things planned. I think I saw a dark room back there you could lock me up in. But the game was breaking or crashing no. or something. I think you've had enough for now. Well, that's reassuring. Besides, I need your help finding Mary. She's here, isn't she? Come on, tell me. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. Wait. So there really is a letter? Oh. Yeah. Want to read it? Just don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She's our nurse. I, uh, took it from her locker. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please, give him a chance. It's true, he can be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. I love you, Laura. I love you like my very own daughter. I wish things were different. I wish we could be happy together, like we talked about. Even so, I know you will have a good life. You're a strong, smart, beautiful girl. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend, Mary. Laura. How old are you? Um, I turned 8 last week. That means Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Mm-hmm, you're getting it. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. She also talked a lot about you, you know? She even. What? What is it? Well, it kind of was his other letter. I think the one was for you. The envelope had your name on it. Did you read it? I wanted to. This one time, I almost did. Figured you didn't deserve to have it. But then I thought, Mary wouldn't want me to keep it from you. So I just sort of kept it for you. Here. Kid, where are you storing these? 
I mean, I could say the same about my rifles and guns, but you know. It's empty. Or there's nothing in it. What? But I didn't take it. I swear. Well, where is it then? I I must have lost it. I gotta find it. Laura. So now we learn that there's an inconsistency inconsistency, holy words here. James believes that his wife died three years ago. But Laura says, basically confirms that it's only been a couple days. Ooh, what's going on? We'll have to find out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm not a big scary dog anymore. I'm a cute cuddly dog now. No. I'm not a I'm not a wolf trying to eat her now. I'm a Good boy. Laura. It's gotta be somewhere. Oops, save. That's what I was looking for. Very nice. Yeah, it's been a second. And what we got here? Read twelve and music room. Oh, already? Hey, uh, Laura. Can you learn to see these things so you can help me fight? I know you're like eight, but you know. I gave you a shotgun. I think you could land a couple shots. Okay. Nothing here. And I'm still by Toluca Lake. Looking for my sweet goose free goose freed. Goosefred. Fried goose. Was that nothing? Okay. All right, let's crawl into this fight. Um, nah, you on your own, bitch. Yo, horny, yo, problem. Ah. Huh? huh? Welcome back from the ads. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Why can't I pull the map? Oh, I don't have a map of this location. Fair. Okay. Holy shit. I didn't actually see her. <laughs> you suck. I want you to know that. I want you to know that. Fucking Maria's legs, man. Every time. Never get over my wife's legs, you know? They beat the fuck out of me every time. <sighs> uh... 
Uh, their helix seems to have some uh, kind of pest. Separate from the rest of the plants, or they'll die. And you underlined, or they'll all die. Not ominous at all. Oh, shortcut. Ooh, shortcut. Hey, country. Sorry I'm late. Finished the gym, then had to shower. How you doing? Hope the gym and the shower treated you well. Them perfect, supple, dangerous legs, yes. I wish I had per uh I wish I had uh, them perfect supple dangerous legs. Granted apparently I have dangerous legs. I do have that much. <laughs> Back in my martial arts days, that was the one thing nobody wanted to fucking be involved with with me was anything involving kicking drills cuz they were like you kick like a freaking truck. <laughs> So I got the dangerous. I need the perfect and supple. Note to staff, be sure to clean up the fireplace in the conference room. It was simple and the shower was very nice. Ice cold at the start, but ended warm and nice. I usually do the opposite. I usually do a, a warm shower and then I end it on cold. Get in, get nice and comfy, relax, and then I kind of like shock myself at the end. <laughs> Even though, you know, around here it doesn't really get cold really, like the water. Cold is like kind of room temp. Compared to when I lived up northeast. When I lived up northeast, then it was like, you know, the water would actually become like ice. Oh, not the spiders. Spider legs. Uh, revelations. New understanding. The one who soared. What? There is someone outside. It is 2.01 in the morning, and someone is revving their engine and, like, skirting around outside. The actual fuck, man. I feel bad for anybody that has to, like, sleep right now for, like, work or something. Leg picks when? What? You could kick a horse to pieces, then they'd have puppy- wait. Then- then have puppies use them as the softest of beds? I, uh, what? Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Here's a book. Ride before the fall. There's four book slots, though. Where's the fourth book? I guess I have to go find that. Legs. Woo. Um, that was a noise. Anyway. <laughs> Woo. There's gonna be legs right around this corner, right to the right. Do it. room key there's another pair of legs in here i could feel it that's not the only pair they're gonna be like right here fucking do it send thigh pics excuse me my thighs ain't even shaving right now ain't nobody seeing my non-shaven thighs what the fuck
you talking about? Is that it? I guess so. We all die by the thigh. My god, I want those two so bad. Hey, yo, what the fuck is happening? All down bad. Oh, it's a nurse. Surprisingly. In the medic station. Get the fuck off me! Crazy ass. God damn. Stop it. I didn't... Okay. James, I need you to hit the, the glass. Not her. <laughs> James was, re was really resentful <laughs> of that exchange. Holy shit. I was trying to break the glass and he just kept going back for more. <laughs> oh my god. Medical record. Okay. <laughs> James, the glass. The glass, James. Please. James. <laughs> he is so mad. He just keeps swinging. For science reasons, of course. Yeah, bullshit. The most you guys might get out of me. That was horrifying that you opened the door. Um. Uh, it's not safe for work voice recordings on Patreon. That's the most you might get. Ain't no thigh picks happening. Yep, I see it. Yep, I saw you. I saw you. But space did not happen, apparently, so, you know. I think I'm even in here. Oh, wait. There's a memory, okay. Why am I walking slow? Death by thighs? Death by Snoo Snoo? Actually, not a leg girly. I love arm. Uh, I'm partial to hips. I like hips. Um, I like hips. I like necks. I like butts. Breasts are okay. I'm not like the I'm not like super like boob boob person. Like I can appreciate them, but like I'm not like you know. You you're not gonna show me a picture of boobs. I'm gonna be like, oh damn, that's so hot. Like I'm just gonna be like, okay, yeah, that's some that's some boobs. That's some booba. They're nice, thank you. But like nice like grabbable hips. That's like, and then ten IGN. You're stop, you're not actually here. You're not real. Why don't you get this, James? Jamothy? That was predictable. It's even more crazy though, is that that was like the legs I think that made that noise, I think, so. Wait, so is my special foo foo watering can a no go then? Um, I gotta call me out like that, Fumi. Maybe it could be for science reasons. I'm definitely a thigh and butter, <laughs> butter kind of guy. The booba is a big win too. Hips are only just below thigh for me. Mm -mm.
As cheesy as it is now, above all the actual like sexually explicit regions and grabbable regions and stuff, I'm a big eye person, man. If you have pretty eyes, man, that's it. It's game over. I love eyes. Eyes are so pretty and so cool. That's why I hate mine, because mine are like black like the abyss, man. There's such a dark brown that they just they're like the void. I don't like that. Uh, note to staff, since it's taking you this long to get to the conference room, you might as well drop by room 107. I'm leaving you the key. One of the guests, whoops, one of the guests has made quite the mess. Okay, can I take the key? How do I take the key? Oh, he just takes it. Okay. Anything else in here for the meantime, besides coming back here later? No? Okay. Uh, thighs and butt that got autocorrected to butter. I see. Real, I love eyes and smiles. Smiles too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smiles are smiles are good. I can a, a nice like a nice look into somebody's eyes and a nice smile. Man, I'd, I'd be fucking heart heart would be fluttering. Um, me and my green eyes. My yeah, green eyes are pretty. For me, it's not eye color. I mean, the, true. For me, it's not like a specific eye color or anything like that either. However. Um, like, I feel like there's more substance when your eyes actually do have some form of color, though, and mine's, like, the abyss. Which, I mean, I guess in one hand you could argue, oh, well, that means you can get lost in my eyes or some shit like that, but I don't know. I think more people are gonna swoon over someone having beautiful crystal blue eyes over the abyss. Why do you keep doing that? That's not gonna actually like make me like be like ah. I thought that <laughs> I thought the toilet was legs. I was like, please God, no, not behind me right now. I was like, please. Wait, how do I get that book? Not gonna lie, wasn't sure that would work. I thought this was a legs bathroom. And again, I think every room's a legs room. Uh, for me, I've been called a black-eyed demon by an old friend. Ah, yes. Eyes are great, but teeth, a beautiful smile, will melt me in a second. That's fair. I mean, it's to me, it's not about necessarily the teeth, but just a nice smile. Um, just love a great personality. That's all I'm into. Um... I've got boring eyes, hazel, whatever. Bright, vibrant eyes are far superior to mine, but I think they're fine enough. I mean, that sounds better than my my abyss. <laughs> my abyssal eyes. I kid you not, the only way you would even know my eyes are brown and not black is if the sunlight is hitting my eyes. Otherwise, they look like black. Like jet black. Not you being Velma in that Scooby-Doo episode. You stop that. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Stop. 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 Hey. You had something for me. I have blue eyes, but to be honest, I find darker eyes to be more attractive for me personally. I wonder if that's because you have blue eyes that you're like, you're like, well, I know what it looks like to have nice, bright, like, colorful eyes. And so then, therefore, you want to see the opposite. Because we often want the things we don't have, you know what I mean? Or that we don't commonly see. As a brown eye haver, I think brown eyes are lovely. I don't know why I read it like that. Uh, but yeah. 
202, 107, 312. Okay, I have a lot of rooms to go to. Right, 107. Is there a map I can grab somewhere? I feel like I should have had a map by now. Is it on the other side of this thing? No. Map, 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 map. Map, 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 map. Where the fuck is a map? I need to know where I can go. Oh, here's the book I need. Wait, no, that's a... Can opener? Huh? Benji! How you doing, Benji? How you doing? Okay, anyway. I'll tell you what. I sell propane and propane accessories. I sure love a map right now. Oh, look. Oh, wait, that's not a map. I thought I was excited. Mr. James Sutherland, regarding the videotape you left in your room during your last stay, I'm glad to inform you that we have re uh, recovered the item and moved it to the employee section on the first floor. The tape is stored within the hotel safe to be returned to you at your earliest convenience. That's sweet of you. I can't wait for my totally sex tape is what it is. Totally. It's not something. Is that a map? Oh my God. It's a map. <laughs> Wait, I don't need to be out here. Backpack, 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 yeah, save again. As a southerner, I, re I read most things like that. <laughs> yeah, right, you just gotta read every note like, uh, you gotta, gotta, gotta be like, uh, I was wrong, wrong, wrong. No, I wasn't, but I wasn't entirely right. I need to peel off more. Something more blood close. Yeah, you know, you just gotta, you know. <laughs> Wait, is 107 over here? I'm assuming it is. Yes, it's all. Um, I guess it's that far southern room. Okay. Yeehaw! Benji, when we venturing into the bayou, I need to play some bounty clash. The fuck are you doing here? Those shots were horrible. Don't look. <laughs> oh my god, he got knocked the fuck down. <laughs> Such a waste of rifle ammo, but... God damn, there's more legs. Why is everybody alive again? God damn. I need room 107, please. Please do not come in. What's this? Note to staff. And while you're at it, be sure to sweep up the leaves out in the garden. Then you can go back to the fireplace. Okay. I see. <laughs> you imagine. Exclamation point Discord. Thank you. That's a great question. Soon, though. Soon, indeed. That's for sure. You don't love me enough for right now? Dropping this game. I'm just kidding. I'm finishing this today. I must finish this. Oh, it's a nurse. You know what? Oh, okay. None of those pellets hit. Ooh, you just Nosferatu the fuck up, and you need a Nosferatu the fuck down. I saw you. You can't even, and you still hit me. That's crazy. Is that ammo behind you? No, it's not. Yeah, why do you hit harder? I feel like it's a requirement to talk to each other in a southern accent while playing hunt. Oh, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> to you too.
These things haven't moaned when they died in a while. It's been a minute. Stop it. Fireplace key. Nice. Very nice. Very pog. Where? Uh, oh, you're hiding in the. Oh, you're playing in the. You're playing in the leaves. Oh, that's cute. Anything to gain from back here? I don't feel like there is. Guess that's it. Okay. You're up again? How many times do we gotta do this, old man? Uh, thank you for the stretch and posture check. My spine... My spine be cracking. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's save it up. Ooh, cheeky dick waffle. You cheeky dick waffle. Well, I gotta get some sleep before stream in the morning. Have a great rest of your stream, Fumi. Have a good night, Dell. Rest well. Thanks for hanging out with us. What? What's this? Okay. Uh, what was the? I don't have a floor two key, right? Or do I? Two o two, which is in the opposite wing, down at the bottom. Oh, I haven't even gone over to that wing yet. Okay. No wait, I did. I think this had the key, right? Yeah, and this is the bookshelf. Which I'm missing a book, right? Or do I have all the books? Oh no, I have all the books. Yeah. Just placing these down. I know they gotta be in a specific order. Um Bird. Lion. Bowl. Okay. Bird. Wait, which bird? Bird. Lion. Bowl. No? <laughs> that is definitely the order that they are in, but, uh, you want me to go through the back or the foreground? Or what, what, what you want me to do here? Or is this the opposite? No. Uh, okay, how about this way? No, okay, how about <laughs> thank you? Thank you. Hello, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you were doing well. Thank you for the follow, Ren. Are right, we got lion and bull? Lion and bull, lion. And bull. No, not that either. Because I could swear the bird, this bird is on this side. Here we go, bird, line, bull, angle. How you doing, Ren? How you doing? How you doing? Hmm. Or is it in the order of like the four from the foreground then? No, because this is how that is. So like, is it like? No, that doesn't make sense either. Huh? Wait, question. Are we all going to stream? Stream what? Stream what? 
I feel like I need to be doing something, but I have nothing to do. But house chores, I hate this. Why not do the house chores then? Or are you just trying to relax? I thought I had this, if I put this in the exact same way I had it before and it just works, I'm gonna cry. Or is there something else I'm supposed to be doing on top of this? Is that not how this is? Or do you want it inverted? I am not, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I'm doing well, how about you? I'm doing pretty good. The game, the game we are gonna play, Hunt. Is that what you're talking about? Because yeah, we can, we can both, we can all stream. I mean, it depends on the day. If we're streaming during the times that I'm streaming, yeah, I'll stream it. But if it's um on an off time, I'm not gonna stream. So it's really up to, uh, I guess, when we would decide to do it. More so, uh, more so then. Oh, okay. It's the, uh, I'm sorry. It's the top is the closest to us and the bottom is the furthest from us. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. This is an ominous. Room 217. Uh, bloody, bloody doorway. Gate. Bloody light bulb. Don't have anything to put in there, though. I always wanted a secret hidden room like that in my house or something like that. I always thought that'd be really cool. Hey Reaper, how you doing? Welcome in. Uh oh, Liar's Bar. Uh well I won't it's an off day for me, so I won't be streaming. It'll be I know Clyre I think is streaming, but I don't know about I don't know about you. I, I won't be because it's an off day. Which I, thank you for reminding me. I need to actually buy it today. I'm not buying it <laughs> right before, right before we do it. Not that that would be an issue. I downloaded in like two seconds, but still, I can combine that with something. Wait a minute, go back. Oh, can I can open something? Okay, so I still need to go to 202. I can't open that yet. So I guess we'll come back. There was 202 again, all the way down this hallway. I thought I came through here. Oh, why are you so tall? I mean, you're wearing like platform shoes. But. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. James, take a shot. Did that thing get back up? No, it's just not dead. I can't... I can't see. That was chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. 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 Slimey thing. I'm touching myself today, huh? Someone say Warhammer? Asks Warhammer nerd. Ask the Warhammer nerd. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. What's someone said in the chat? I don't know what to tell you with that Reaper. <laughs> Um, 
What's the point of that? I'm not quite sure. What the point of that was? I thought for sure there'd be a lying figure right there, but we're legs. I don't even know what the legs are called. I know like all the monster names in this game, but not the legs. I just sworn I came through here before. The enemies are just, you know, getting back up again. I love carrying around glass. Ah, glass, which is for this. Very nice. Uh, what does that even say? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the sweetest of them all? Feel away the shiny skin. See the rotting flesh within. Uh... I have an apple, but it's not a rotting apple. I'm assuming I need a rotting apple, so I'll come back for this. See if I can find a rotting apple. I'm assuming something happens in here when I complete that puzzle. Maybe I have to go upstairs for it. I guess I wasn't over here. I thought I was. Yeah, I guess let's go upstairs. I guess. Oh, I can't go up this way. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait. Let me save down here real quick. Ooh, dodging down the steps is so much faster than walking. Because it skips the animation of him needing to take every step. That's very nice. Um, wait, do I have the key for 102? No, but I have 312. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Why is it when my body cracks it doesn't glow? I don't know. That's a that's an age old question. I'm constantly haunted by the uh, the the uh, the concept that my body doesn't glow when I uh, crack. Open fireplace. And get the Cinderella figurine. Did I just do something I shouldn't have? God damn it. <laughs> he just sounds done with it. Like, God. What now? Why are you harder to kill when I can't send you into the void? Woo. Is 
Stop it. Stop. Stop. Why must you be here? Anyway. I don't know why the music was still going for so long. But it was. That went on for way too long. Sheesh! Hopefully I didn't progress something without getting the other areas yet. Aww. Something happened here. Oh, okay, it's just paint. Of course. Of course, of course. And let me just open up this can of paint. With this can opener. Open can of paint. Wait, what do you want me to combine it with? A paintbrush? Weird. Okay. 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 Oh, we're here again. Oh, so I didn't go to that side of the building. I just kind of came up here then, is what I did. Um, what was my key to again? Key 302? 312. Is that on this side or that side? That is on the other side? I don't see 312. Oh, yes, it's actually through here. Wait, what? But I can't open this. Okay, I don't have the third floor key for that. Where is the apple that it wants me to have? I feel like I need a rotten apple right now. Or is it gonna rot the apple that I am using? Let's see if there's anything laying on these tables. No, no. Back here? Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Uh, meds? I almost called him Ethan. James, take it. Different game there. 102. Very nice. Okay. Gonna break up a wall. What's this? Uh, remember that strange book you found earlier? Some very odd-looking man came in a few hours back. Claimed it belonged to him. Honestly, I didn't feel like arguing. I wanted to be through with him as soon as I could. So I gave it to him. I'm not sure how often... Wait, I'm not sure how he even knew it was here... I don't think he was ever a guest here. I would have remembered. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Who is they? Oh. Didn't expect to loop here. Save, because it's been a minute. Thank you for the bongos. Thank you for the bongos. Okay, we have 102 now. I wonder if Cinderella, do you go in like in the in this thing? I use the ornamental key. And then I put Cinderella here. Ah. 
Went on Apple. Um, okay. I guess while we're down here, let's hit up 102. Oh, you don't want to hit that thing on the ground, but you'll randomly swing at a nurse for an hour and a half? Oh, thank you, bear. Bear wear bears, uh, keeping me safe. Is this just a supply room? I guess it was. Okay. Uh, what was the bolt cutter for? Uh, okay. James? Go for outside? Can't go out this way? Back up back, maybe? Also, if I have bolt cutters, can I just cut the lock on the third floor? Why do I gotta, like, find a key? It's also such a chill part compared to uh, the other part. And then I just jack a light bulb. Where did that light bulb go again? Um, The hidden bookshelf, I think it was, right? We need to go to the second floor. I mean, you do have a shotgun, so no door should stand in your way. That too, yeah. Anytime there's a lock or something, I could just shoot it. But, you know. Gotta go through the the, the loop of it, you know. It's like, it's like Resident Evil too. I get like a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, but excuse me while I go find like a specific uh, key to access somewhere. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to paint the thing? I see. Deed done. Oh, is that the password? Uh... Nice. Elevator key. Wait, can I take this back? Oh no, I could just stare at myself. And think about what I did. I mean, James is completely innocent in all of this. It's insane that he's going through such trials and tribulation for no reason. Crazy. Could you imagine being a normal person in Resident Evil like, oh, time to check in, uh, check in, guess I need to find the three parts of the clock in the The thing is, is a real person would never fucking get that far. <laughs> That's the thing. You would sit there and you'd be like, damn, I'm locked in this room. And uh, what now? <laughs> I'm 
Let me see if I can use this nice juicy apple for uh for the thingy. I don't think I can. Also, where are the bodies? Ah, uh, well, there's one. Hey, Crimson, how you doing? Oh, one of these. How do I... Oh, okay. Like, why would you think to repair this mirror? Like, at what point are you like, yeah, I need to do this? Wait, am I missing a piece of glass? Oh no, there's one here. Oh yeah, I am missing a piece of glass. Oh, it's in my inventory. About to say, I'm like, what? Oh. Is it gonna make the apple rotten? No. Gave me another dancer. I thought I needed a rotten apple. What the fuck even? Okay, you know what? Not worth fighting. Oh, the place is all rotten now, as you said. Don't mind me. The hee hee and the ha ha. My god. One sec, chat. One sec, one sec, one sec. Okay. Alright, anyway. So we have the Snow White figure, elevator key, and I can't go into 312 yet. Is the elevator downstairs? I don't remember seeing a service elevator. Oh, here's one. Okay, so I just go there upstairs, I guess. Can't hear either, so upstairs again. Okay, I can't hear either. What the fuck? Other side? No, I can't get there. Unless it's this? No. Huh? Oh. 
Uh, well, apparently, I haven't gone into 208, 209, or 210, I guess. Have I tried to? Well, now that area is covered in enemies, so that's fun. So hopefully we don't get fucked up. Hey. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in the animation. I saw Goody. And it wasn't worth it. I can't go into 208. Where do I need to go? Oh, wait. The employee elevator is on the opposite side. Wait. Just keep running, James. Just keep running. A save point? I feel like you're about to throw me into a boss fight. Which there's only like two or three enemies that could be left, so uh, yeah. So why is my flashlight not working? Wait, why would I put my stuff there? Oh, you want me to you want me to put my stuff there, I see. So I have nothing. I understand. I'm going to preemptively say fuck you. Okay. It wants me naked. No, Jamothy. Oh, this is actually a large area. You don't see me in here. Don't come in here. I'm naked. Nothing works, it just won't wash off. Order new sheets. Uh, I mean, so do I, but why my chopped liver and candid laughter? Oh! Jamothy! Ah, uh, yes. Give me shotgun shells for the shotgun I no longer have.
Okay. Um, gemstone. No, 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 no. Ugh, go back through. James? James? off I'm not real you're hallucinating there's not a man in a green like wind, wind windbreaker jacket I guess it's kind of what it is ah a memory Blue gemstone. I'm not really someone who enjoys segments of games where they take away your shit. It doesn't really usually add scary to me. It just kind of makes it kind of less fun. Um, if you're going to do a segment like this, I'd traditionally like it like just to be at the start. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 hey, buddy. That's horrible in so many ways. Okay. All right, that was great. Love that. I also probably missed an opportunity to open a door at the uh, kitchen. But, uh, it's fine. If I go out here, there's a staircase, which I can't open. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh! Ow! You actually took that like a champ, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, do I need more gemstones than I have? Or is this like actually all I need? Um. Um. Ooh, that made like a clicking sound. Am I on to something? A? Oops, 7414. Okay. Oh, that's for the safe. Duh. Hey! Oh, hey! Magic math rocks. You see it. Basement key. Okay, well, I have a way out of here now, but, uh... I also have these things right here. 
Wait, I thought I got another map too. Didn't I get like another map besides this one too? Also, this is a really cool employee section though. Like you got like a break room in the center. You got a laundry room. There's a TV room. There's a, a kitchen and stuff like that. Like, actually like you can kind of like live here. Like no joke. What is this? Oh, it's to go down deeper. We love going further beyond. Uh, plus ultra or whatever. Nothing's here. Why? 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 Okay, anyway, thank you for the hydration. Thank you, Crystal. And the bongos. Thank you. As it's just James staring intently at a pump valve while I uh, hydrate. Yeah, like this this kind of sequence is not scary at all to me. I think the scarier it's scarier when you can fight against things and things can actually like do whatever. I think being absolutely helpless like this doesn't actually scare you. Like it's not at all scary. I don't know. Uh liquor storage and boiler room. So obviously the thing goes to the boiler room, but Nope, you don't notice me. Pretend you do not see me. I am invisible. I'm a phantom. There's no items in here? Also, my mouse stopped working? Hello? There we go. I couldn't turn. Getting close to me, James. 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 Cool. Syringe. The Venus Tears Bar Key? This is a dark ass corner. Um, wait, is that it? Do I just go back upstairs now? Uh, where was my way out of here? I gotta find the elevator again upstairs. Hey, uh. Okay. I think it's directly across from here. Oh, it's there, but it's gone. Where the fuck do you want me to go? Oh, you can still lick me from there. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I thought I was just safe in here. I'm not 100% safe in here. Uh... So, wait. Where... How do we get back up if the elevator is not here anymore? Or was it accessible in the staircase? I'm not on the staircase side. No. Staircase is indeed not good. Manager's room. Kitchen. Is it one of the areas that was formerly blocked off? Is 
Because there's nothing else downstairs. Actually, wait a minute. There is something downstairs, right? Next to the liquor storage? Was there a door there that whole time? Wait a minute. That makes no sense, right? Because the why would the bar be in the basement? Oh hey, hey, that's awkward. Excuse me, pardon me. Don't don't mind me. I just chug some alcohol. Don't mind me. Oh, it's here. Okay. Okay, I'm not I'm not continuing to click that. Oh, do you want me to pull the valve off from this? Okay. There we go. Alright. Cool. Progress. Oh, this looks safe. This place is uh, very similar to the bar from the beginning of the game. Uh, Neely's, I think it was. It's very similar to it. I mean, it's asset-wise anyways. Oh, the mermaid, okay. That's kind of something I want again. Uh, it's a fucking aquarium. I kind of want fish again. I don't know. The only thing that sucks about fish is having to clean out the tank. You get the nice gross water, and then you gotta be like paranoid as you temporarily transport the fish between something. Something else. I always feel weird transporting fish between two different containers. But, like, I kind of want fish again. I, I used to, as a kid, I used to actually sit there and stare at, like, aquariums for, like, so long. I would just, like, sit there and just zone out. Watching the fish go about and just being, like, wonder what's going through their heads. Obviously, they're not thinking the same way we do, but, you know, I'm like, hmm. Why can't I open my map? Oh, because I didn't get my stuff back. Uh, where was my stuff? Where's my stuff at again? I don't have my map to be like, oh yes. It was here. I don't know, let me do this puzzle quick. Also there's, was there always water down here? This is like slowly changing. I'm kind of scared to do anything though, just in case it switches. I don't know if it's possible for me to lose my stuff. I think it was up here, right? It was over here with the doors that are permanently open now. Unless the doors are just open to remind me that like my shit's here. Why the whole cutscene for that? What changed? Something had to have changed. They used that for loading, I think. What changed that you had to play a whole cutscene of me retrieving all my items back? There's no way in hell that was not concealing something. Everything's getting more wet and more dilapidated as this time goes on. Really cool kind of feature. Oh, I see. 
I understand. Uh, oh my god, my brain goes, uh, there. Wait. But then that doesn't connect. Oh, I can move these separately. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let me let me try to path this in my brain here. Uh. Let's see. Um. Oh, you can kind of demo it like that. That's kind of cool. Wait, can she even move like that? Oh, she can go across that path. But what am I trying to get them to? Into the doors? Is that what I'm doing? Oh, I've been pathing this all wrong, I think. So is this correct? Wait. Oh, it was correct? Uh, what began with three, one would... Soon, divorce, seven, can my songs. Okay. Wait, why can't I just keep turning it? I am not understanding what I'm looking at here. Um, reset them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, one. Okay. Okay. I was like, the numbers? The numbers, Mason? Is that what I have to do? Turn them into the numbers? I was just gonna just kind of creepy play music now. Got you. Go up this way, right? Where'd the body go? Where you at? Why can I still hear the music? <sighs> Staff only. Oh, I can't go in there. 313. Here's our room. Okay, I have my flask ready for tomorrow's Halloween party. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to learn the truth of what's happening.
Are you taping again? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. I'm sure it is. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. It's too bad we have to leave. Promise you'll take me again, Jane. <coughs> Yep. Yep. died because she was sick. I killed her. <laughs> Killer! Why'd you do it? I hate you! I want her back. Give her back to me! I knew it. You didn't care about her. I hate you, James! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! She was always waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Mary, you know, isn't here. Yeah, he's not a good guy. Yep. James. He is the villain of his own story. Mary? version of this place now it looks really pretty look how great it looks it's so nice <laughs> what was that back like it did like a lean back but yes 
James killed his wife. Smothered her to death. To be free of her. And she was dying of disease and was, un first off, becoming less and less visibly appealing to him, obviously, as she had, like, a skin disease of some kind. Um, and then she obviously was sick and couldn't do much, so as time went on, he got more antsy with the relationship and sexually frustrated and all that stuff and just kind of started to see the relationship as wanting to get out of it. And so he kind of, like, resented her. Uh, for basically getting sick and then eventually he smothered her to expedite the process and as he believes it was three years ago that um that Maria died uh, Mary died sorry uh, Mary died actually only a couple days ago but three day three years ago was when she was diagnosed with that disease so to him she did die Three years ago. And a nice little fun fact in detail. In the opening sequence of this game, if you look in the back seat of his car, you can find her body in the back seat. Her corpse is currently in the back seat of his car. And Maria is just a projection of his guilt and his hatred and his frustration and a lot of the monsters are also they just go in a circle or also uh, representations of that so you have like the lying figures which are the vomiting ones and stuff like that which is you know a reference and homage to to her being sick from you know Likely going through cancer and chemo and all that stuff. Um, but still having those sexy legs of hers that he likes. Um, the nurses are sex sexy and whatnot, again, in a reference to his frustrations. But also, they have no face because of all of the... Um, him just kind of dehumanizing the nurses as the time went on because every single time that... Fuck, I went in a circle. Every single time that the doctors or the nurses would do something, it wouldn't cure his wife. And so he stopped kind of seeing them as people because they were nothing to him anymore because they couldn't save the woman that he loved. Um, and then those leg monster things are just, you know, her, her legs and whatnot. Um, and the, the wiggling and the writhing that they do is half, you know... I don't know, some, 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 something kind of sexy, I guess, to some degree. But that also is resembling her legs kicking as he smothered her. Lots of, lots of heavy representation. And then Pyramid Head is, you know, his desire to be punished. You know, it is his executioner, his, his trial, his tribulation for the sins that he's committed. Uh, there is no uh, healing of thy brood. Thy wound is grievous. The Silent Hill calls to the wicked and brings them to its uh, location and makes them experience judgment. And so you are kind of your own undoing. Where does... Where does this go? And they do lots of stuff to kind of hint towards this throughout the game, but of course you're not gonna... Oh, there we go. You're not gonna fully fill in the blanks. Why can't I turn? Am I stuck? There we go. Okay, well. Fuck my pathing. It's a very heavy plot line, and yet it's interesting because you still can't help for kind of like rooting for and 
uh, backing James to some degree, despite this revelation, uh, because there's like a there's there's some level of redemption to be had, but at the same time, it's like how do you forgive someone that's done such an atrocious thing? And it's such a compelling thing too, because it's not like it was done like out of actual true hatred or anything like that. So it's such a such an interesting character. I think it's another reason why they decided to reboot this game over it, because like where Harry has some t you know some plot to it, I feel like Resident I mean Resident Evil Silent Hill one and one and three are kind of like although they have their own protagonists that have their own emotional troubles and issues and all that kind of stuff. I think Harry and Heather. Um, are both kind of like um cheryl whatever she has like a million names um are both characters that are more so used to drive the narrative of explaining the world of silent hill and i feel like a lot of the games are like that like even like um the room and stuff like that um and all that kind of stuff like all the other games that came after they do a lot of trying to push the narrative of like the cult and the origins of this like you know sacred lands and sacred grounds that they talk about um but this one doesn't really do that it focuses more on developing this character and you know what he's done and what he you know continues to do and the actual you know truly judgment portion of it and it's a, it's the first time we also get to see pyramid head because pyramid head is a reflection of specifically james's psyche and his desire to be punished and his his frustrations and all that kind of stuff but um so there's a lot of die-hard Silent Hill fans that will um they'll go to war talking about how annoying it is to see Pyramid Head and other installations since he's supposed to be James's monster so why is he in other you know installments why is he in the movies you know it doesn't make sense and all that so very interesting circumstance so did he just heal her, or was it really three years ago? So he just did. He killed her a couple a couple of days ago. Because that note that was given to Laura was wishing her a, um, a happy birthday because she wasn't going to make it to her birthday. And so she left her that note to be given when she passed away before her birthday. So it's probably only been like maybe like a week or two, you know, since, uh, since her passing. Probably more closer to two. Three years is when she was diagnosed with cancer, or whatever disease that she has, but it's probably cancer. They never say explicitly what it is, they just say the disease, but I'm assuming it's cancer. Wait, where do you want me to go? Smash. You want me to actually go this way? It seems like you want me to go this way. Did I miss a way to go? Oh, here. Hi, Dolly. How you doing? How you doing? I'm all right. Happy anniversary, by the way. Sorry I couldn't make it to the lethal. I slept way longer than I intended. It was insane yesterday. But rest is important. I mean, as long as you had fun with it in the end, that's what mostly matters. Oh, lagging. Okay. So he just like blacked it out. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. It, it's either him doing trauma things and blocking it out or 
It's Silent Hill doing it, but either way, he doesn't remember that it was three years ago. I mean that he thinks it's three years ago. Is this the fight with them? I don't know if I'm ready for the fight with them. I don't have much resources, man. I should have played the game more conservatively with melee. It's totally about to be the fight with them. Oh no. I'm not ready for it. I cried on stream before the lethal because we met our goal finally. Congrats. Congrats for your for your uh, updated model, right? Hell yeah. Are you making major changes or just like kind of like updating the artwork and getting a model that you like more? Oh, here. Big changes? Damn, you're about to be a wolf. You're going to go, oh, woo. No more bunny. We a wolf now. A woo. Mama. Mama. I was looking for you. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. It's... It's you. Sorry, Angela. I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. Not anymore. Thank you for helping me earlier. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, Angela, that is not true. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me? me care for me heal all my pain that's what I thought James yeah yeah she's yeah me back the knife she's been through it no i won't saving it for yourself have it your way it doesn't change anything
you see it too? For me, it's always like this. Heavy shit. Heavy, heavy shit. Can I go back in there? I can't. But if you saw on the walls, there's two men on the walls. That was that was her uh, father and her uh, brother who would uh, have their way with her. And I assume that the reason why she actually wants to see her mom is it isn't to be like, Mom, I love you. It's to 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 kill her. <laughs> Because her mom basically let it happen. And as she said, said like she deserved it. Are you not hostile anymore? Monsters aren't attacking me anymore. 312 to be cleared out. It's my room. Interesting. Such heavy shit, man. It, it, it's actually a lot crazier to see, like... The story of this game, like, I know this game, like, in and out in the original. Um, but seeing the scenes with a lot more emotion to them because of the better, you know, models and graphics and stuff like that. And hearing the voice acting not just be like, hello, my name's James, you know, like that kind of, I don't know, really, really shitty old voice acting. Um, makes it hit different. Makes it hit very different. And here's another little Easter egg that I know about. So every time we save in the beginning, like throughout the game, James looks you in the eyes. But after we've learned the truth that he's, you know, a murderer, he no longer looks us in the eye. So anytime we save, he looks away from us. And this, I'm gonna die. I know I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I am so gonna get fucked up in here. Unfortunately. Scream. The dual pyramid head fight. Ugh. I'm ready. What part of the game is this? I am in the last act. And I'm gonna die in this last act. Holy shit.
Ooh, that should have definitely hit me. I'm impressed it didn't. You play DBD? Uh, not much, but I used to play it a lot, yeah. I used to play it a lot. It was my main game for a while. Why? We're gonna throw it again? Okay, okay. What shotgun do I got? Not much. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see he was gonna throw it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're getting faster now. I'm kind of. I'm more so scared of like using ammo right now. You keep eating shit trying to get the gunslinger at it. Yeah, Deathslinger is a... Uh, Deathslinger is... Loadout. Isn't really that good outside of, like, being used with other people's things, so I can understand that. That's so mean, the follow-up. I can't dodge both. Hmm. I wonder if that's timed, like, the first fight. Or if I need to fight them like that, because I feel like I just wasted a ton of ammo that I'm going to need for the next fight. Because there should be one more boss in this game, I believe. Rest in peace, Herman Ed. You served your purpose. <laughs> Destroy what you don't need achievement. Now I have a Scarlet Egg. And a Rust Colored Egg. So they just gonna do that? Yep. They are a representation of James's need to punish himself for the actions that he's done. So that he no longer feels that he needs to punish himself, they no longer are needed, and so they got rid of themselves. I don't actually think I needed to fight them, though. I think I wasted a lot of ammo doing that. Because the very first time you fight Pyramid Head, you also do not have to actually shoot him or fight him at all. You can just run around. I think I probably could have gotten away with doing that here, too, um, and had more ammo going into this next part, but, um, you know... It is what it is. I will probably be playing this again on hard. So when I do that, I'll just probably avoid fighting most things. So he accepted. He accepted what he did, yeah. Yeah, that is... Uh, I don't remember if that's four or if that's... um. It's not downpour, I don't think. Yeah, but one of them does. Yeah, the, depending on how you play, the enemy, uh, the enemies change. So if you're super aggressive or super passive, get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already. I was wondering if they would add that kind of mechanic into this game, even though it didn't have it in the original. So I was kind of like worried about like me like overly stomping bodies and stuff. That stuff would happen. But it seems like it's a basically a one for one of the original, uh, just prettier. Alright, uh, you're loading into a game. Well, good luck with the uh, add up challenge. I told you to go. Are you dead? Don't come back. Oof, the pa that was. Mm. Wait. That voice acting, man. Oof, so good. Tell me I'll be okay. 
tell me I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> That's rough. That's really, really rough. Okay. That voice acting made that scene so much more painful. Uh, everything was loaded up. I'm glad it's prepping me for this. Wait. Yeah, let's go. Such a such a such a well written narrative, and to have like a main protagonist who's like a unknowing villain, I guess you could say, to, in his own narrative. That's why I love Silent Hill, because it's a lot of reconciliation and trying to come to terms with the actions that you've done. Such an interesting thing. But now we get the final fight. At least I think it's the last fight. you so much <laughs> I've missed you too we can finally be together forever no James What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? I am so sorry. Maria, I really am. But this has to stop. I am. It's time. Hello, readers. Hello. Atomic. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome in, Spartan. Hello, hello. We're about to start the final fight of this game. Hello, hello. Having a nice heart touching moment of uh, uh, recognition. Another one from our lovely protagonist here what i won't let you do this to me hope stream went well i won't let you go i can't oh it looks so good oh it's so cool all right let's do this maria Okay, it glows red, and then that means it's gonna hit me. Okay, behind me. So cool. Oh, oh. oh shit. 
Welcome in, Raiders. I'm sorry, I'm like <laughs> immersed. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, Maria, all right, okay. okay. Oh, follow up, all right, fair enough. That hurt a lot more than the bugs. Uh. Okay. Okay. Everything's got to become a spider at some point. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, she's above me. How do I... How do I deal with Maria if she's above me? Or are you gonna come down just like Flesh Lips does? Oh yeah, you come down just like Flesh Lips, gotcha. I do want to play through this again and really try to get a couple achievements. I know a couple of my friends went and got like 100% of this and I, I love I love Silent Hill too and I'm excited that it's back but I don't know if I want 100% I'm not much of an achievement hunter. But I do want to play it again and I want to try to beat it quickly. And try to minimize fights as much as possible. Yeah. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen too. Okay, where, did, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Why does everything got to scream? I wonder if the things scream because it's meant to be like Maria screaming in- I mean Mary screaming in pain. While she's in the hospital. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yep. got me there. You got me there. Ow. Okay. 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 All right. Maria, please. Because Re, yeah, because Re. I don't know if I can actually hit her when she's like in that insecty state. Is that actually it?
Okay, I'm here. You want me to be like... You want me to kill her? I know there's two endings to the original game, so I'm like, scared to shoot her? Let me just uh, see if there's anything else real quick. Because in the original game, there's two different endings. I'm not sure if the game wants me to help her or shoot her or what. <laughs> Yeah, I did it. Did it. <laughs> there's a good and a bad ending in the original game, and there's also like a couple joke endings. Hey, handsome. So I was like, if I hit her, <laughs> is this gonna be bad? I'm sorry. Don't be. I told you. I wanted the pain to end. That's not why I did it. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. If that's true, then why do you look so sad? Mary. It's okay, James. Here. It's what you've been looking for. Hey, Akuma. It's all good. Hope you get some rest. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know. I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today, told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better, it's just that this could be my last chance. 
Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. That's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know. I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this. I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well. This letter has gone on too long. So, I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James, you made me happy. The absolutely beautiful melancholy that this game is. <laughs> it's so nice to have like gone through this again and seeing it reborn in a new light. It, it was definitely, it was definitely, I think, done justice. I think. <laughs> Got the adept, all is good. I'm glad. <laughs> there we go. Reach the leave ending. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Good shit. Good fucking shit. I took my damn good time with this game. And I'm happy that I did. It was, Silent Hill is... My favorite franchise. Like... At least within horror. And it's... It, two, 2 was never my favorite of the games. 3 was. I think 2 go, gets second place, probably. Um, but I think 2 is the right choice to have remade uh, out, of, out of one, two, <laughs> three, you. four, whatever. I think two is the right choice because I think it has the most like impactful story. Like uh, one, I think one is just kind of, I don't know. One and, one and three, although I, I enjoy them, they definitely do not have as much impact, I think as far as like emotional, emotionally compelling. They're more just interesting as you learn the narrative of Silent Hill. Um, but two definitely has its most uh, most powerful uh, emotional storytelling with having this the story of these two lovers and the kind of descent into madness that comes with a life threatening disease and the the anger the rage the despair that comes with watching the person you care about deteriorate and watching yourself deteriorate and the helplessness of that and even more so than the rage that you would feel as you lash out and the sadness that you'd feel as you're coming to an end from your disease. Knowing that that pain is also experienced by the person you love. 
and the things that it drives you to. And it's it's such a it's such a beautiful narrative. It's not it's not by any means like happy. It's not by any means like you get to this ending and you're like, woo, everything's great. Like James is gonna go on to raise Laura, you know, he's gonna adopt her, and that's gonna kind of be the the semblance of you know Mary that kind of lives on. You know, this connection that Mary had with Laura, and the kind of light that they both had with each other in both of their respective illnesses and situations and whatnot. And James taking on that torch is almost like not only opening a new chapter, but it's almost like bringing Mary home as well. And it's it's, it's such a it's such a beautiful way to end the game. The alternate ending to the original game as well was that you didn't bring Laura home and instead James drives his car into the river, <laughs> into the into the lake. <laughs> uh, with Mary in the back of the car. It's insinuated that she's in the back of the car in the original. Um, so that they, you know, can bury... He could bury her with himself, you know, and that's that's the alternative ending. I'm assuming it's also in this game as well. Um, I'm just not sure how you achieve that. Probably in New Game Plus. I know this game has a New Game Plus. It's probably the only way you can achieve the, uh, the less sweet ending i guess out of the out of the ones where he gets to reconcile with mary and stuff like that instead he just succumbs to his despair and his loneliness and takes his own life in the alternative ending um then there's a couple joke endings as well but yeah i think i think out of a lot of the games i've played especially horror games i think this game has a very good way of uh balancing horror and the the narratives of like the pain and the and the misery and the anguish that the characters in this game face and not just James not just Mary but also you know all the other supporting characters because even you know even Eddie right who you don't really get to spend much time with you know all all of his motivations and all of his misunderstanding comes from a place of being hated just for being who he is and so that's also like a relatable and understandable storyline with him. And realistically, you know, even though the, the game tries to paint him out to be a murderer, that he's killed all these people and done all these things, realistically, all he's really done is kill a dog, which, don't get me wrong, that's horrible. But, you know, that, that single action, that single lapse of judgment, that single moment is something that allows his representation of Silent Hill to manifest as him just being the worst and a murderer and unhinged. Um... It's the, it's the same with, you know, Angela having, you know, killed her father who is literally actively assaulting her um, and, the, and, the, and the stuff with that, but perceiving herself as continuing to perceive herself as worthless and as if she deserves the actions of her father and her brother and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's such a beautifully melancholy game because like, Yes, I got the best possible, like, nicest, I guess, ending you can get with him just kind of coming to terms with it and kind of having that moment and moving on and, you know, making a life for himself that isn't at the bot like the end of a end of a bottle. Um, it's still just so sad, <laughs> but that's like the beautiful, the beauty of Silent Hill. And a lot of the games try to try to have the same kind of feel and this, the same kind of, um, uh, conclusion and they don't really deliver the same way like I, I I say that three is my favorite of the Silent Hill games but that's just because I like Silent Hill itself as an entity so that game does a lot to explain the world and that's why I like it the most but two definitely has the best narrative um, like the doggo ending yes there's a dog ending yes uh, what determines the different endings yeah how you handle James's health yeah yeah Yep, that's how I'm, I'm assuming it's the same in here with how many like, you know, different interactions and stuff like that. Um, I know there's also in New Game Plus, there's a specific ending that you can get that you can only get there because of the, the notes you collect. Um, yeah, see, it says ending clear one of eight. So there's eight endings in this game, which I don't think there was eight in the original. I think there was five or six, I think. So that means there's additional endings, I believe. So, because I think it was, it's the leave ending, it's the suicide ending, whichever that one's called, I don't remember what that one's called, 
Um, there's a dog ending. There's the alien ending. There's... I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. But... It was, I think, I think there was one more, but yeah. That was, that was really cool. They, they really did it, and the attention to detail, like, the stuff I was talking about with, like, over the course of the game, James getting facial hair, and, um, his nails getting dirtier over the course of the game, and uh, after a point, I don't know when, I should have kept checking throughout the playthrough, um, I'll do it on, like, a replay through. But apparently, if you look at Maria's, um, Mary's note, I keep saying that because it's just freaking Maria throughout the game, but it's Mary that we're talking about. Mary's note will eventually go blank because it never had anything written on it to begin with. It's, you know, it's, it's the pool of Silent Hill that kind of pulled him in. And the actual note that James gets to see at the end there is the actual note from, from, uh, Mary. The alien ending, yeah. Well, yeah, we did that in 13 hours, and I was going really slow. That was fighting, like, almost everything in sight. I could definitely beat this game in, like, three or four hours. Like, that's... It's definitely would be a very quick run now that I know what I have to do. And if I just avoid everything. Because I can literally not fight, like, 97% of the things in this game. There's a couple that I'll have to kill that'll be inside rooms. Um, obviously, there's the boss fights. Pyramid Head, you don't have to fight. I don't think you have to fight the Twin Pyramid Heads, either. I think you just have to survive that too, and then eventually they'll, you know, off themselves. So really the only, like, bosses I have to fight are Eddie and, um, and Maria, I guess. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, and, and also, um, Abstract Daddy, I'd have to fight the two. But, yeah, I could probably, I could probably beat this in, like, three or four hours, is my guess. If I play this optimally. But yeah, that was... That was fun. That was very fun. I looked at the map. I checked the map 316 times. It sounds like a lot, but at the same time, I feel like people have more than that. Because <laughs> I at least memor memorize a lot of the layouts of places, so I can imagine people who can't do that at all. I have like five, six hundred. Number of times I tried to open locked doors, three hundred, like three hundred times. I picked up fifty notes, which I'm not sure how many notes there are. And I've used consumables 350 times. Really? There's that many consumables in the game? Huh. Very interesting, very interesting. Total enemies killed, 321. Enemies killed by shooting, 102. Enemies killed by fighting, 219. Total damage you received, 4,000. Yeah, I got hit a lot, especially by legs. Fired 700 shots. Broke over 100 windows. Used 106 healing items. I died once. Wait! So wait, the only time I died was that one time at the end there? I thought I died twice. I didn't die before now, before today. I was so close to zero deaths. I was so close. So close. Number of dodges performed, 688. You have gained New Game Plus where you can play with access to additional items, graphic modes, and endings. Okay, so can I not get any other ending than leave from beating the base game? Because I didn't do anything special for that run, so I'm assuming... I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if I went through that game, never looked at any notes, never talked to Maria outside of when I needed to. If I would have gotten the alternate ending, or if I can only get the alternate endings now. Um, James's masks. I only have one. I only have Pyramid Head Pizza Box. Um, is there not a way to check, like... No, I don't want to look at the credits again. Get me out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, here I could choose it. Yeah, I could choose New Game Plus. Gives you access to additional items, graphic modes, and endings. And I know you get access to the chainsaw in New Game Plus if you choose to use it, which uh, is basically like a one or two shot kill to almost all the monsters. I'm definitely going to be playing it again. I definitely am. Also, Backshot, thank you for the... Um, for the follow early, I was rambling. But, um... Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. See ya.